it, Hart's mental state after that match, he's got to be a little bit upset. Yeah, because he did everything kind of right. He repelled those early five roaches with uh, initially with uh, no problem at all. Right. And then he had a strategy which uh, was hitting Hart and which was basically unstoppable uh, mm -hmm. by the vicissitudes of uh, how it has gone. And uh, that, that, yeah, he made an indestructible army. So yeah. his only concern was uh, survival. And then he had the whole lift off to the island thing. He must have felt almost untouchable. Right, yeah. And then you lose. That's, and then, uh, that's and then, gutting. And then drop finishes, and you have been sitting there for so long, not able to move because of that mech, and you get dropped on by uh, 50 roaches. Yeah. And, well, uh, that'll be... I think that's probably the best match here so far that we've seen at this tournament because that's the best comeback we've seen at least by far. Yeah, it wasn't the most crisp play, but it's right. definitely one of the more unexpected finishes. Yeah, I, I was, I'm was. i trying to think. My, my production brain is tingling right now. In terms of showing that match, you can't do that in the top 10 because you have to start from the left-hand side of the map, show that it was a normal game, and then yeah. this weird base trade and it ended with drops. So. The best way that game is viewed by seeing the whole thing. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I guess I'll have to catch the uh, <sighs> catch the VODs of this. So down here in the bottom right-hand corner is going to be Violet, and up in the top left-hand corner will be Hart, as we were just splooging about that last match. Uh, Hart will be... Oh, I think Hart's going to do a double barracks. I think so. Yeah, he's, he's not making an SCV, and uh, there oh, we go. There we go, yeah. Double 12 barracks with a small uh, SCV cut. So uh, he did this against Dongregu and he followed up his two barracks with an expansion. So he brought like four or five Marines. Uh, I'm not sure if he was 100% serious about the bunker rush that he was attempting because he, he placed down a bunker, it got like 50, 60%. And then he wasn't able to finish it. So he went back, he got this expansion. Uh, they were both on something like uh, 22 workers at the time where Dongregu had two bases and he had only one and he just started a second. So by all means, it looked like he was behind, but uh, then he was making uh, a third barracks, right. made a large amount of Marines, moved across the map with half of it and kind of uh, made it look like he was trying to all in, but hiding how many Marines he had. It was so many mind game layers and Dongregu as a result played exceedingly safe. Dongregu never got a third base in that series. He just didn't. Yeah. Because Hart kept pretending that like, here's here's all in wave two coming, but you know what he did? He actually got very fast three CC. Then he made uh, a whole number of Marines. Right, didn't make right. his first siege tank till the 15 minute mark, and he just hit really hard uh, with uh, with Bio. Uh, yeah, it was unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. And you know Violet playing pretty smart there, uh, taking a quick kind of gas deal to keep his opponent's Marines back in his base. Uh, but now he's going to have to face a lot of Marines here. How many do we currently have out? Five. Is he bringing an SCV? Or oh, look. Like no. A third and fourth barracks. We've uh -oh. s we've got four barracks on the field. No CC at all. And One spine crawler coming up for Violet. Yeah. Will Violet actually move out? You know, these past two games he's moved out with six things. And it looks like he is doing it again. But he it's will be met here in the middle of the map. And look how hard always hiding behind those brushes, those smoke screens, those uh, line of sight blockers. We'll be able to uh, catch the Zerklings unaware. Boom, there the first Zerkling goes down. Uh, three Marines and one SCV. It looks not so aggressive. Normally you bring the SCV to the Zerk base to pretend like you're going to build a bunker. And Violet's like, well, you're, you're trying to make me believe that you're going to be aggressive. But if you really were, you wouldn't be waiting there. Right. So uh, you see Violet already adding uh -oh. more drones. And actually, that's so genius about Hearts play. Like again, showing just three Marines and one SCV. Oh, that's Violet so smart, does not man. believe it, man. He made two more drones. Wow. And the real threat here is uh, the SCV train is coming in. Yeah, and, and he yeah. sees it. He sees it. What is going to be his first reaction? Immediately starting yeah. fourlings, throwing down another spine crawler here a little bit further back, so it might be able to complete. But Hearts moving in, Grubby, and he has a whole lot of forces here. Yeah, Violet has to use everything. He has to use all four queens. Maybe he has to pull every oh, single drone that he has. Block. And with that supply block, I'm not even sure if Violet can do anything against this. The spine crawler is very close to being complete here. The Marines focusing it down. And now with four queens and a handful of links. Oh, oh and the links coming from surround. behind. Wow, that's so smart there from Violet. I think he might be able to clean that up. Oh, that was so nice. Those Zerklings came in at the perfect time. This SCV will be taken down if he focuses correctly. Zerkling should pull back now. I mean, they're doing okay, but he's not got the added force off those queens. Uh, he just threw away those Zerklings, and that was really not necessary. Right. And what comes after wave one of all in turn? Wave two is coming. Spinecrawler will go down, and with four queens, he should be able to hold this off. Yeah, absolutely. And Violet, 
I oh. thought that he was done for in that yeah. match, Grubby, but that surround with the lings, the, the lings that were in the center of the map after he saw the SV, he waited to bring those in until the last possible moment. The point of no return for Hart after going up this ramp, and Hart figured out that, oh crap, I'm about to lose almost all of my Marines. Yeah. No, there's, I really don't think there's a way out of this for Hart. I don't think he can just go back and make a command center. Um, he's, he's pretending that he's going back to make a command center, but in fact, we just see him uh, making more Marines. And uh, the only thing that works for him now is, is some kind of deception. Like, he's hiding some of his Marines in the back of his natural, and he'll show some of them on the ramp, just in case Violet scouts. Now, Violet feels like he held this off so comfortably, he can go back to drones, and that's exactly what we see. He's going uh, to make another macro hatchery, has zero units on the field besides his queens, and just making drones. So, this is basically Hart's only chance. Do we think that it's going to work, uh, JP? Uh, well, let's see what Violet has here. He has a lot of creep, uh, but he only has... where. Okay, that other spine crawler died. It's so only one spine crawler. He could get a lot of links. How many? Uh, he's only got three. Okay, uh, eight larva now. Bailing oh, this will way. actually be very tough to hold. I don't know if he can actually hold this. Yeah. Uh, what, what's better, I guess, than a second attack here for Terran is going to be a third attack for yeah. Hart. Yeah, and this time he has a critical amount of Marines, and Violet needs to have Bailings to hold this. He does not have it. He doesn't even have any links, and Violet got too comfortable after that. He didn't fully realize how many barracks there were. Uh, Hart's only chance to go for another all-in. And uh, somehow Violet has to buy one minute of time here. He has to keep his Zerklings in his base. He has to uh, draw back to his main base, hoping that Hart will use his time to take down that hatchery and don't go for the main base straight, aw straight away. Does not happen though. Hart is smart. He uh, skips the hatchery. He goes for the what really hurts. Wants to cancel those banelings. And uh, if those banelings don't finish and he doesn't somehow get uh, a big splash on the Marines, he won't be able to hold this attack. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure. He does have a lot of gas still remaining, but Hart spreading out these Marines yeah, all over. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, I think that's it. Violet's not. I, I guess we can't count Violet out, but I think that he's dead here, Grubby. Yeah. Uh, even though we don't really want to ever say that because, I mean, look at game one of the series so far. Yeah, but we have to be honest uh, when we see that uh, it's really just about to finish. Four Bailings cannot technically, cannot theoretically take him out of the Marines with this kind of spread. And then you factor in the micro of Hart and you realize this was an effective attack by Hart. Yep. G, G there, 1-1 in this best of five.